So you want to build an AR9, but you hear you have to tune it with quarters or put a rubber bushing in. But they all seem to be different sizes and you don't know which one to get. Or a special bolt, but you don't know what the difference is. Well, maybe I can help you here understand what it's for. As you can see here, the bolt goes way too far back, allowing way too much space between the bolt and the bolt catch. This allows the bolt to speed up and hit the bolt catch with quite a force, breaking the bolt catch. Okay, let's add some quarters little by little and see what it does. With only one quarter, it doesn't make much of a distinguishable difference. Let's try more. With four quarters, there's an obvious difference. Let's add a few more. What we want to make sure is that the bolt is close to the bolt catch, but it also has enough time to pick up another round. Let's add a few more to get it closer to the bolt catch. There we go. Close to the bolt catch. It doesn't have time to speed up and hit it and break it. $2.75 for my AR9. Yours may differ. 0.7 inches. Now in order, each quarter being dropped in and the difference in distances from the bolt catch. There's our sweet spot. Hopefully with this knowledge you'll be able to understand what you're looking for in the bushings or a long buffer and it'll keep you from breaking your bolt catch. You can buy buffers and springs with the bushing included. I ended up just getting mine from Delta Team Tactical. They don't come with the bushing from Delta Team Tactical. You just have to add some quarters. I don't mind adding some quarters. And now some slow motion video for the cyclic rate. It's good to take slow motion video. It lets you know if you're having any issues with your gun. Especially being straight blowback, you're going to want to do this if you're building one. <laughs> 